Sam, and I'm here talking about Mercury Retrograde. Of course, Mercury Retrograde is one of the things we hear about when people who don't really <laughs> know astrology so well starts, you know, start to want to blame something bigger than themselves and they kind of, you know, want to sound like they have some sort of connection to the higher, you know, cosmos or something. So they say, oh, Mercury must be retrograde, that's why I'm confused or making mistakes or my technology is messed up or some other thing. So of course um, it's not really the best way to look at it. Like all retrograde planets, when Mercury goes retrograde it is a, it's a time of correction and introspection, reflection, because the retrograde planet appears to be moving forward I'm sorry, it appears to be moving backward from our point of view on Earth where, of course, our life is moving forward. So when Mercury's retrograde, like all planets that go retrograde, they're actually closer to the, it's actually closer to the Earth. So we can feel its impact um, a lot more, just like when something is closer to you, you notice it more. It doesn't necessarily mean that you notice it in a positive way, you just notice what it does. And in fact, many times when something is very close to us, it becomes something that we need to really pay a lot of attention to and actually learn about in a more comprehensive way. So what I mean to say is this is the same thing that we can take from all retrograde planets. When it goes retrograde, it's closer to the Earth, and we have to really pay more attention to it because the things that it does or that it gives externally starts to back up. Um, and with Mercury it's speech, communication, basically like the story in our head. How we understand things, how we comprehend things, what we've communicated to others, what they've communicated to us, and how we basically handle the interchange of life's experiences. You know, um, that voice in your head that's telling you what things mean. And I'm not saying that gives you hope to believe in something, but I mean literally how those philosophies and principles that you believe, how they filter down into the explanation you have in your head about life and what life means and what your life means day to day within those philosophies. For instance, the philosophies are related to Jupiter, the sense of meaning and purpose that gives you hope. Like, for instance, a religion or a belief about the cosmos and the universe in a certain way. But that, that belief is something that gives your life a guiding principle. But day to day, the way your brain functions and the way you experience and interpret life situations within that belief system has to do with Mercury and how you perceive things and how you comprehend things and how you understand them can be known by what you say about them. This is what communication is. So, you know, it's so often even those who quote know astrology, even astrologers or people who study astrology or oh I've been studying for 10 years or whatever, they view these different astrological you know symbols like a planet let's say like mercury and they say oh yeah it's speech communication playfulness humor and those things are correct but what what do those things actually really indicate communication is not just words we speak it's also an expression of how well we comprehend something. You can tell how much someone understands and comprehends and how much intelligence a person has about something by what they say about it. Right? You can understand how much care and intelligence and flexibility a person has in general by how they communicate in general. Not just about, let's say, a certain subject but how much intelligence and insight they have gained through life by their capacity to understand and comprehend and adjust and be flexible to things that come their way. 
So that's how we can see a person's Mercury. And Mercury is really a very important planet for living a successful life because, again, it makes you very good at managing all of the details and organizing them correctly, first in your own head and then later sharing them with others. Because these are all things that Mercury wants to do. Um, the part of you that is ruled by Mercury is the part of you that wants to enjoy things, are curious about things, and again the things that you're curious about are the things that you actually understand really well because you enjoy them. So that sense of enjoyment and playfulness and fun which leads to creativity and intelligence. Educators have known now for years if you want kids to learn make it fun, make a game out of it. Very Mercury-like. So the things that you enjoy are the things that you understand the most, the things that you have most intelligence about. And that's what Mercury is. And when it goes retrograde, when it's moving backwards in the sky, we have to see, and we, we get to see, the truth of how much intelligence we have in general like about life. And our words come back to us, and how well we're organizing and managing things like our money and our you know relationships with people and the resources um, you know we get a good indicator because things start to mess up a little bit people start to you know come back into our life and we get opportunities to perhaps re-explain something often we'll have someone come back into our life or a situation will show up in retrograde when Mercury goes retrograde that shows us or gives us the opportunity to re-examine and re-communicate or renegotiate that situation. And you know, this is why it's also said to not do things like sign contracts or do other things um, that you want a positive result for when Mercury is retrograde. This is a little too unevenly stated. Um, I, would, I wouldn't say it that, you know, I wouldn't make a blanket statement like that. I would be careful signing a contract literally, especially if it's a long-term thing, because the other person might not be paying so much attention and might not be negotiating from a place where they're engaged. Um, so you do want to be careful of those kinds of things because, again, we might not be looking so closely at details at that time. But, you know, those are things that are very much on the surface. What you will notice when Mercury goes retrograde is those things that allow you to communicate and earn and all the details in your life can suddenly screw up because you haven't been paying attention to them. So again, instead of just fixating on, oh, and, you know, quote, blaming the planet, oh, Mercury's retrograde, things are bad, the things that go bad when Mercury is retrograde are details you've overlooked. Like, let's say, you know, your car messes up when Mercury's retrograde. person who gets, like, regular tune-ups and stays on top of the maintenance of their car and this and that usually aren't going to have all these things mess up necessarily on Mercury retrograde or the phone you know they drop the phone or they lose the phone or you know losing things doing that this is because of someone's like not paying attention to details so well so when Mercury goes retrograde that Mercury issue becomes more active and that gives you the opportunity to do it better so like every retrograde planet the retrograde cycle gives you the opportunity to do it better, to really learn and say, ah, you know what, I keep doing this, I keep messing this up, you know, I, you know, my technology is not up to date, I'm not putting as much importance on that, or as much attention on that, and consequently, it's not moving me forward. For myself, often when Mercury retrograde cycles come, I become aware of, like, let's say things with my work and my business where you know, where there's like a log jam in the communication between, let's say, someone gets a course and 
and wanting to contact me about it or people, everybody comes out of the woodwork saying, you're so hard to get a hold of or I didn't get this thing and they're frustrated and they're angry and they're communicating badly and or I got to be careful not to get that way or some other thing like that. Um, I don't usually do it because I have my staff do it, but those kinds of things can come out where all of a sudden everybody starts to rethink, oh, I don't want this now, or you did this, and people are confused about something. And I could fixate and blame them, or I can say, well, this is because this system, let's say in my business, for instance, isn't working as smoothly as it should be, or I didn't really communicate this as well as I could have, or something like that. So you'll start to see those things mess up, which should be alerting you to things that need to be fixed. Um, and they can happen anytime, really. But you'll, but you'll tend to see that retrograde cycles are times to actually fix those things. And that's what the retrograde Mercury is good for. Fixing outer forms of technology and communication, but also your inner voice. And in the largest sense, one of the things that it, um, is really overlooked about Mercury is that voice in your head that's really interpreting the story of your life. Because Mercury is really that story in your head. What do you tell yourself about life? And how important is that story? It's one of the most important things that is going for you or going against you. Nobody can change that story except you. And what, often what happens is whatever is harming Mercury or influencing Mercury positively or negatively is also a story you're telling yourself. And it's a positive or negative story that either assists or obstructs what you want. And so evaluating that story in your head and getting more clear about how you're using your intellect, what's called the buddhi, Mercury is called Buddha, and the buddhi, the intellect, and evaluating and examining the way your brain works, the way your intellect works, and how you use the intellect or how you misuse it is important. And make no mistake, you know, the misuse and the abuse of you know, let's say passive aggressive speech or manipulative speech or using language and words to coerce and distort and lie. You know, most people wouldn't, don't really cop to the fact that they're liars or that they, it's a very hard charged kind of word. Oh, I'm not a liar. I don't lie. But we do lie. We misuse words because we want to get what we want rather than tell the truth. Sometimes we do it for very benign purposes because we don't want to hurt someone's feelings. But other times we are just honest enough to have a sort of plausible deniability about something where we have an agenda that we want to, you know, where we want to get something. And again, these kinds of misdeeds and this kind of dishonesty can also come back to really bite us when Mercury goes retrograde. And again, here's the thing to understand. You might lie to yourself for a while, but notice what shows up when Mercury goes retrograde and notice what shows up relative to how you're authentically communicating your values to people in general. Um, and, you know, the, the truth. Like I use the example of like in my work where I could get upset that people are maybe like I've had three or four people this hasn't been happening, by the way, but let's just say as an example, I, you know, if I had five, ten people, all of a sudden, you know, when Mercury goes retrograde, I'll see people having problems with their, you know, with their tech, you know, issues. I could just say, oh, it's Mercury retrograde, all oh, these crazy people are coming out of the woodwork. Or, or I could say, it's showing me that I need to get this, I need to do this thing better. Same kind of thing on a personal level you'll start to see the same kind of story showing up, the same, quote, misunderstanding. Everybody's misunderstanding me now that Mercury's retrograde. Are they really misunderstanding you? If all these people are saying the same thing, and the same thing keeps coming back at you when Mercury's retrograde, are they all wrong? Or is there some common thread there that you should be listening to because of some 
messed up story in your head about how you're interpreting things, about how you use language, about how you deliberately distort and misinterpret what people are saying. I've had a couple of those interactions online where trying to talk to people, I've had them like just completely blow up and project something onto me. Or It's very easy. People get quite volatile when Mercury goes retrograde. And again, it's something for me to look at. Well, if I'm seeing this with three or four people, i got to look at myself and say, okay, maybe I could communicate better in this way or that way or something like that. So this is the best thing to understand about Mercury retrograde. Really look at it, really try to own it, and see where your values are around communication. And notice what shows up when Mercury goes retrograde, rather than just be, you know, childish about it. And pathologize it and project blame onto the universe. Nothing's coming back that isn't fair, that isn't deserved. You weren't paying attention to the details well enough, you don't understand them well enough, you're not taking care of them well enough, and now you're having to deal with the consequences. So, this is what happens when Mercury goes retrograde.